G'day everyone, Ricka from Patch to Plate here just with part 2 of the Aeroponics Tower. Here you can see growth on the tower, this is just yesterday. Uh, fabulous growth, I mean it's um, uh, really exceeding expectations. Uh, here's the manifold, you would have seen this in, in part 1 with the two taps in and out. You can see here I'm just using stock standard garden fitting, so it just comes down in a normal little hose into a continuous pressure pump. This is just a pretty basic one and uh, an off-the-shelf tap timer. Now this tap timer doesn't give me the flexibility that I need so I'll be changing this setup. You know, but for now results are pretty good. Uh, hose running into reservoir again, it's just a stock standard garden hose and here's the reservoir here. The reason I'm using this hose is I can when it comes time to change over like I am today I can just pump that water out onto the garden. I'm not wasting nutrient and water. Uh, just a standard 19 mil drain and that leaves a bit of water sitting in the bottom of the, uh, the tower. Here we'll um, move around, you can see this uh, input or output there and here's the, um, the little 40 mil caps that I'm using. So when I've uh, got a grow hole spare I just pop one of, the, one of the caps in, it keeps the water in, keeps the light out, it gives me a lot of flexibility. Um, I think I mentioned in the last video I thought I'd put too many grow holes in but this setup really does give me a lot of flexibility and you can see here you know I've got different uh, grow holes at different stages. This is the side of the tower that's normally in shade so this is where I harden off little seedlings and get them ready to go around to the the, uh, the full sun side of things. Okay and here you can see this is the this is all the growth that's in full sun. You can see our harvesting we just harvest from the bottom up and everything just keeps growing. We've been taking a bowl of salad off this every single night uh, for a week now and it's, you know, there's just more there than we can use. It's, like I said, the, the rate of growth is fantastic and the, um, you know, the quality is brilliant. Alright, well let's just uh, fire it up, just uh, manually. This will normally come on automatically but I'll just pop it on manually for now and we'll, we'll see if we can get a shot inside. This is a 75 litre reservoir. Um, and it holds about 20. There's an, about another 15 to 20 litres sitting in the bottom of the drum, like I said, acting as a bit of a as a bit of a heat sink. So we'll come around and I'll see if I can get a bit of a shot inside here. I don't know how successful this is going to be. You can see some of the roots there, and hopefully we can see a bit of water spraying around. But you'll you'll have to take my word for it that when this is fired up, that the inside of the drum is just misting water, just spraying around everywhere. So. I haven't had any issues with grow holes not getting enough water or nutrient, you know, everything. I mean, you can see for yourself on the, uh, the outside shots, everything's doing pretty well. Okay, so um, I think that that's pretty much it. As you can see, pretty much leafy greens, pack joy, basils, all of that goes pretty well. There's the water just run, draining out into the, into the reservoir. It's just a continuous system and I pretty much just change the water over once a week. Yeah, pretty much gets through that 75 litres. Here's my um, my little uh, bubbling cloning system with some tomatoes in it. I'm going to do a short video on that in the next couple of days to show you how that works. All right, well that's uh, that's pretty much it for the tower. As you can see, it's all going along really well. Very happy with it. Um, and I'm going to do another video shortly showing uh, what nutrients I'm using and how I'm mixing that up. What sort of rates to get growth like this. Um, try to keep these videos a little bit shorter. The first one was probably a bit too long. Alright, so thanks very much for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next update of the tower. Cheers!